All right, so I got some emails from people asking how I created these images in a RISE course. Uh, first thing I did was I set my slides to be square, so they would be one to one aspect ratio. And that's just a matter of going to design. And I cover this in the blog. Go to design, slide setup, and then create a custom slide size. And you can change it like 10 to 10 or whatever you want it to be. And then it would be uh, perfectly square. Uh, and then whatever I build, I save out as an image. So just save your file as a PNG image. And then all of your slides will become their own image files. So I'm going to show you how we build these. Uh, there's a few different ways to do things. So I'm going to show you the way I like to do it. So we're going to come to a blank slide here. And uh, if you're using Articulate 360, uh, you have the access to Studio 360. So if you install that in PowerPoint, you're going to see an Articulate tab. When you click on that, a couple bonuses. One is you get Content Library. So you're going to get all of those different uh, templates um, in PowerPoint. So you can use these in your own courses or you know even for your PowerPoint presentation as long as you have the Articulate 360 subscription. So take advantage of those. The other thing is you have the character pack, right? So if I click on here, you can see I've got the photographic characters here. I've got these modern illustrated characters that look really nice. And then, of course, I've got the uh, classic illustrated characters that came uh, with the original storyline. So let's just go ahead and we'll grab a photographic character here. I'm going to grab Maria. Uh, you can grab any pose. I'm going to grab one where her arm sticks out a little so we can see how that extends outside the circle. So let's go ahead and insert her. And uh, before I get started, I always control and click and drag. So I always have an extra copy. Uh, so this way I don't need to worry about um, reinserting her if I messed up. So there's a few different ways uh, you can do this. Um, basically what we want to do is we want to get to where we have a square image of Maria. So I like to use an image guide and I'll show you two different ways. So I'm going to insert a square here. And um, let's just go ahead and do this. So insert a square. If you hold the shift key down while you drag, it's going to make a perfect square. And you can see here the height and width are the same, 263 by 263. Now if I look at Maria here, double click on her, you can see she's 563 by 206. Now what I can do is I can go ahead and um, we're going to change this to 206 by 206. So it's the same width. Oops. So it's the same width as Maria. So we're going to go, um, let's just do this. We'll do 206, tab, 206, tab. Okay. So now this is going to be the same width as Maria. Now um, I use this as a guide and you'll see how. So one way that you can crop this and get it square is you can, let's send this to the back here, send to back. One way you can do this is you can, you can see here that her width is exactly the same as the square. So you could double click on her, go to crop, and you could crop her up uh, to the square. Now you're going to have a perfectly sized person, right? That image. Uh, the other option is because in PowerPoint you can crop to an aspect ratio. And what we want is a one to one aspect ratio. If you go into format and you go to crop, you can crop to aspect ratio and do one to one and you're going to get a square and all you have to do is just drag her uh, however you want her image in there. So same thing, she's going to be cropped um, in there. So she's 206 by 206 and if we click here, the square is also 206 by 206. All right, so we want her to be a circle. So I'm going to just take this image here since it's the same now the reason I like to use a square is because if you go into your format, you can change that shape here uh, to an oval. When I change it to an oval because it's one to one, it's going to turn it into a perfect circle. So this could be our base circle here. And let's just say we'll fill it with gray and we'll make it orange. Now it's always good to have a really thick line because that, that gives you some options. So let's see what we want to do. We'll go with a five point line here. So now if we do this, you can kind of see the makings of what we want. Right now the challenge here is that she's um, she's square and she's kind of poking out, but we want all this stuff to disappear. Now one way you can do that, and this isn't perfect, right? You can you can play around with this. You could convert this or 
uh, crop this to a shape. So if you go to Format and you go to Crop, you can crop to shape and choose the circle. Now you're going to get a circle. Now she should actually fit right inside of here, right? Um, generally speaking, right? So she said if we nudge it, she, she would fit right inside of there. So that that would work, but she's not extending outside the box. So we want to extend her. So I'm going to I'm going to actually scale her up a little bit, right? And the cropping doesn't have to be perfect. The main thing is you're just getting her inside the circle here. And so there's things you can do to play around with it. So you can come back here to the cropping tool and um, and play around with with the circle and, and all of that stuff. So um, we're not going to be super perfect on this. We just want to get the general idea. So let's just I guess we'll just keep it like this. OK, and we'll fix this here in a second. So that's what you have here. Now, the problem is she's um, sticking out right and we don't want we don't want this we want this crop but we want our hands sticking out so this is where you kind of have to play around with how you have her uh, set up in the cropping so you can you can try to squeeze this around and play around with that right and you can see how that works the main thing is that you're kind of getting the bottom in there and the closer you can stay to a circle the better but you can kind of see how that works, right? Oops, now I cropped the top of her head a little bit. That's okay. But you kind of get the general idea here and you can play around with it. So now I have this here. Um, what I can do is because this is the same age, we're just going to duplicate this. I'm going to turn the cropping off here. So we're just going to just, this doesn't have to, this doesn't even really matter. And we could, we could crop to a rectangle so it's a little bit better. So now I can put her here, put her on top. I'm going to crop her up out of this where she's on top of here, right? So we're going to, we can go here. So this is the circle. Let's go ahead and pull it out here. And now you can see I've got her sticking out. So there's a few different ways you can approach this, but you can kind of see it's not that hard to do it. Uh, a lot of times what people do to cover up, like if they don't want to do the tweaking, uh, they could do something like this. Let's move this out of the way. Um, they can do something like this where they duplicate this circle here, right? And let's move this out. So let's say they duplicate the circle here and what they'll do is make it no fill and then um, they have the line and then you can stick that on top here. So you can kind of clean up if she's hanging over and then you're still going to put this um, here. Uh, for some reason it's not snapping, but that's okay. We'll, we'll fine tune that. And I'm just going to bring that to the front. Um, so that gives you, it's a little bit cleaner line. So now you can see she's a little offset. So you can just use your arrow keys and nudge that if it's not snapping uh, where it needs to be. But you can see how that works, right? So you've got a few different ways, uh, to do that. And you've got a little stick out person. Now, uh, this thing right here, this is just using an emoticon. So let's, or an emoji, let's go ahead and create a new slide. Um, for some reason, it's not creating a new slide. So we're just going to go new slide here. Okay. So if I create a new slide here and I add text, so I want to add the emoji, right? So let's just go ahead and we'll do some lorem ipsum text. So you go equal lorem and we'll go one, one. That means it's, uh, one sentence, one paragraph. And so we do that. Okay. Well, I actually ended up being more. I don't know why I did that, but we'll, we'll go ahead and keep this. So I want to add an emoji here up on top, like I have on this image. That's super easy to do. Just go ahead, hit the windows and period key, and that opens up your emoji and you can just insert an emoji. And uh, typical of the demos, it didn't work. So let's go ahead and Insert, there it goes. All right, so, and then it's just, a, it's really just a font, right? So you can make it as big as you want. We'll center it. Now, one thing I did do here is I'll just create a circle. Hold the shift key down and you can see you can create a circle. Uh, let's say I want the emoji to be yellow. I'm going to send it to the back. And now you can see how I colorize that. And uh, you can do the red and the tongue and the eyes and all that. But you can see how that works. So super simple. 
Uh, this is easy. It's just a Windows period key. I'm in Windows 10. Uh, this right here is just a couple of things. You're basically just creating uh, a circle and two images and cropping it and then setting them on top uh, to create that. So hopefully that works for you. And uh, if not, um, all you need to do is keep practicing, I guess. And then jump in the community if you have questions and the Articulate community can help you out with that.